if by chance in your part of the world, you cannot find this specific product on the shelves in your grocery store, or perhaps you do, but it's just ridiculously priced, don't even worry about it. You can make your own so reasonably. This I get at the dollar store for usually about a dollar. Sometimes it's even less expensive at Walmart and I'll get it there. But we can change this into this very, very easily with one simple step. So follow me in the next few minutes as we do that exact thing. So the first thing we'll do is set the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Next, I've opened a one pound box of pure baking soda, and all I'm going to do is spread it well all over my largest cookie sheet in the house. And I know some of you have written in and said that this cookie sheet looks a little worse for the wear, but I'll say it means it's made a lot of batches of really good cookies over the years. So as long as you've got one that is not aluminum, you're just gonna take and spread out that baking soda all over the cookie sheet. I want it not in huge clumps, but pretty evenly throughout. And about every 15 minutes, I'm going to check this. It'll cook for a whole hour at 400 degrees, but I'm going to check it about every 15 minutes and just stir it a little bit. Probably not with my hand. It will be with a um, one of these cookie turners. I'll just use this and I'll kind of swirl it around and let it change position so it gets all of the um, everything that needs to come out of it like the water it will actually have water evaporate out of that all right the oven is hot so we're just going to set this in on the middle shelf and we'll come back in about 15 minutes to give it a quick stir All right, an hour has passed and you're gonna notice this has changed in its appearance. I know it's very slight and it's probably hard to see on camera, but the, the uh, CO2 and, and oxygen have been released from this. And so it's gonna have a little bit more clumps like this than it had before. And it's a little less shiny. And I can see it, but it might be kind of hard for you to see. The nice thing about this is that you can't overbake it. So just in case you leave it for a few hours, don't even worry about it. I would just make sure that it's been in there a full one hour at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit in temperature and you'll have a finished product. As soon as it comes out like this, we wanna quickly go ahead and get something that's gonna help you filter it down into a container with a lid so that it doesn't soak up moisture because now as we store it, we, we don't want it uh, taking in everything that it just evaporated, all that CO2 and water and oxygen that it left it to, had come out of it. We don't want that to re-enter. So store it up like this. It's ready to use indefinitely for this year ahead. And I'll bet you'll find about a million uses just like me to use this with. All right, so there you have it. A pretty simple recipe for a product that has so many virtues. I hope you'll take the time this week to go do a little bit of homework and research of your own. You'll be amazed at all the ways you can use washing soda or sodium carbonate. It's a phenomenal product. Go out and be a blessing to someone else this week. Share this video with them if that might help them. And until I see you again, may God bless you. Hey, before you go, let me share just a couple of verses. This is from the Holy Bible out of the book of Mark. And it's verses 32 and 33 of chapter 13. It says, but concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor even the Son, but only the Father. So be on your guard and keep awake, for you do not know when the time will come. Now go spread the word.